Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And if you have four wives, eh, it doesn't mind. I mean, the stage can hold more. So invite your friends if you are a Muslim. I notice in the chat there is somebody his name is Kurd. And he is so excited to call me. But uh, Mr. Kurd, I am in Skype and I don't see even a text message from you. So can you tell me please what's your name in Skype so I can see where we can find you? Let me know, please. <clears throat> you know, sometimes I see uh, some Muslims are so excited to call me, but I don't find them. I don't know. I mean, this guy, he was saying the same when I, uh, I saw him after I finished my stream. And now I see him before I start my stream. Looked like he is a person who challenged me only when I am not streaming, either at the end or in the beginning before I start. So, uh, Kurd, my Skype is open, I don't see you. So please just text me and I will call you immediately. We cannot wait, my friend, to see. Uh, somebody told me that you have an extraordinary conversation with me. That would be wonderful. <clears throat> so we will give you a time to give me a, a text. It doesn't take two seconds, you know, by the way. But maybe because you are slow. And the internet of Allah is so slow. And, uh, you know, yeah, because I don't see you. Are you there, my friend? He stopped even texting. Okay, heart attack. All right. So you know, as long as Mr. Kurd he uh, you know decide to <clears throat> you know take the first mule and uh, escape to the heaven, uh, we go to our topic. You see, uh, uh, like I said to myself, I was working in my book, and uh, I was reviewing some verses. The translation I'm doing. And then, you know, like when I, I did read uh, uh, this verse, I said, why don't go like take a break and make uh, this uh, a video about this verse. This is a chapter two, chapter two, which is the cow chapter uh, in the Quran and verse number 30. <clears throat> now you see the Muslims here, always you have to add bracket between things because the Quran is so clear to the point you have to add a bracket, tons of brackets. Sometimes the bracket is more than the verse itself. So, uh, and remember when your Lord said, I mean, do you see how silly this, how stupid even translation? Allah saying to Muhammad, remember, why Muhammad was there? Like, you know, when somebody says, like, do you remember that's mean this guy was there. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you remember? And Muhammad like, uh, you know what, Allah, according to my uh, ID, I'm just not even, you know, 60 years old. So remember what? Oh, you remember what I did, uh, what I said to Adam and I said to the angels? Oh, Allah, at that time, Adam himself wasn't created yet. So what do you mean, do you remember? These, what is this? But, but anyway, it's like, a, you know, a, it's a comic story, a cartoon. But, so now, Allah is saying to Muhammad, وَإِذَ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ Okay, so uh, said to the angels, okay, so where is the word remember from, from where? Does it make sense, this remember? So this is a silly translation, let us say that. Okay, uh, because he's speaking to the angels, so remember, when your Lord said to the angels, what Muhammad had to do with remember? Allah, he just told him the story. Like there, if there's a verse before this verse, turn this verse. <laughs> okay, he said, Allah, I am about to place my caliph in the earth. <clears throat> you know, uh, the translation here, it says caliph. The word caliph, khalifa, actually it is Arabic word, khalifa. Is somebody who is in, going to inherit something, you know? Like when you inherit, uh, it, it can be, usually it's used to inherit authority. Like when Muhammad, he died, and he, you know, he was the leader of the gang. So then the, the, the big, the gangs of Muhammad, they were fighting each other and they kill each other over who was going to be the caliphate. And if you read the Islamic history, which is very disgusting history, you will see almost every single caliphate killed by one of the other caliphate to take his place as a caliphate. Even the grandsons of Muhammad, the Muslim, they slaughter them because who want to be the caliphate. 
So this is a very hateful society, and they hate each other to death. So don't don't feel bad if they if they are violent with you. They are violent against each other from the beginning. So Islam was corrupt from the first day. You see, Muhammad he died right away. They are killing each other because it was not a religion; it was a gang system. So when Allah he said, and this is the question for the Muslims, when Allah he said to the angels, "I'm going to place a caliphate." But if the earth just created, Adam was the caliphate of who? Because caliphate is inheritance of something after somebody. Who was there before Adam? Secondly, Allah did not create Adam in the earth. Allah created Adam in the heaven. And the proof of that, you will see a few later, Allah, he says to Adam, live in the in the garden you know some christian they might say well uh, the garden is an earth this is in the bible in the in islam don't mix things up the garden of adam and eve it is in the bible in the earth but in islam it is in the sky so when shaitan he just whispered to them uh allah he said to them get down you see they will get down so allah sent them down from the sky which is supposed to be the heaven down to the earth get down but maybe there is somebody who was before that time uh, on the earth let us say we have a muslim maybe this is kurdish guy i don't know <clears throat> just tell me why you don't answer me why this guy is almost going to cry because you cannot call me i have to call you first you have you know i have to accept you in my contact so you can call me let me call you abdul why you don't call me? Why? Why you don't call me? <clears throat> Here we go, we are calling you. Hello? Hello? Yes. You are live on air, go ahead. Hello? Yes, hello, hello. Is this uh, CP? Yes. You are live on air. Okay, how come? Okay, how come you're you're you're? Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure it's you. Hello. My friend, are we going to speak the whole day? Just you say hello and I say hello. Tell me what do you no, want? No, no, I just. So this is Christian Prince. You want, oh, don't you know my voice? Yeah, I do know your voice. Okay, so what you are asking? I've been trying to uh, contact you for so long. Oh, this is the first time I can show you. Even your text has appeared to me only once. Now. No, no, I've been trying in every other way to, to contact you, actually. Oh, like there's other ways? It's, uh... Like what? <laughs> yeah, but it's like, because you only speak to, like, um, like Muslims. That's it. Well, aren't there's you a Muslim? No aren't you a Muslim? No, I'm an ex-Muslim. Ah, ex-Muslim. Why are you giving me a hard time, my friend? You check you because I can't get uh, I can't get hold of you. It's so okay. hard to get hold of you. No problem. So what do you want to share just, with us, my I friend? Just, I just uh, I just want to <laughs> say that uh, well I, I I watched a lot of your videos before uh, previously. I you wasn't the one that actually converted me to Christianity. It was myself, which I read and everything uh, at the beginning because uh, uh, I was a uh, was. Uh, um, what do you call it? I was uh, very religious uh, mm. to Islam. Okay. But, uh, but I found my way uh, like uh, ten years ago. Uh, but uh, I recently had. So I have not. Today. I have nothing to do with it then, right? <laughs> no, no. I just you have you have something to do. I've been listening to you because you're the only one that that shares a lot of uh, what do you call it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. It's, it's really no, it's an honor okay. to speak to you. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I was just. Uh, I've been getting some experience. Uh, I even spoke to my. Uh, uh, my. Uh, I uh, to to a priest here. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm just trying to understand. Uh, I got some to to uh, an, an experience from. Uh, like I get a message, you know. Okay. Uh, one time I got, uh, I was sitting down in, in my bed and and I was about to fall asleep and I actually, there was a light coming, like there was a light coming to me and uh, I heard I heard a beautiful voice, you know, 
and they give me a speech and I'm trying to like understand because you know about Islam the most like I, all of the scholars I watch I don't think I mean, they know as much as you uh, I was just wondering if was I hallucinating or not if I'm hallucinating or I'm not hallucinating but the message was uh, tell the Muslims that uh, Antichrist is coming and uh, tell them not to follow him hell is awaiting him awaiting them well you know the message is nothing wrong with it so we cannot say it is something bad but you know this is something personal nobody really can tell you uh, where is this message coming from maybe because you love the Muslim to be saved because your family your, you know your people they are Muslims and uh, you are thinking about them worry about them so uh, you saw such a let us say a vision or maybe even the Lord he speak to people why not you know but me myself I cannot really tell you what, what is the reason but the message itself nothing bad with it it's something wonderful so we cannot assume that this is something bad because the message itself is a wonderful message yeah um but uh so if, if you can just like talk about a little bit of antichrist in islamic way because you know how they say that uh that antichrist is coming right and uh, yeah, you see the, the first of all you, the, the muslims yeah. when they say there's antichrist that is again a proof that muhammad is a false prophet because why the satan will be antichrist will not be anti-muhammad if muhammad is the greatest if Muhammad mm -hmm. is the most important prophet, if Muhammad the most beloved person to the God of Islam, which is Allah, then how Satan is not anti-Muhammad, is not even anti-Allah, is anti-Christ. So here from the anti, you know who is the God, which Shaitan is trying to fight. Shaitan is not against Muhammad, Shaitan is supporting Muhammad. Shaitan is not, you know, totally different from Muhammad. It, it's just another name of the same person you know, the, the Lord, he says, be aware of false uh, uh, prophet. They will come to you in a close of a sheep, but they are wolves. So Satan, he changed his forms. He changed his shape. And it's not necessarily about physical shape, but it can be uh, any kind of form. Sometimes he can come to you as a priest, too. You know, there's a priest where there are child molesters. Those are satanic. So uh, Satan, he is very powerful. And he knew how to be, you know, betray trade uh, into uh, the house of a believer. And uh, let us say you are a person who like gambling, and he come to you from gambling. You like uh, adultery, you know, he come to you from adultery. You like uh, uh, money, he, you know, he, he will find a way. If you are religious, what he would do, this guy is religious, he will come to you from the door of religion. So he will come to you using someone like Muhammad. So, you know, the easiest way for us to know what is the right thing to do is the fruit the messiah said from their fruit you shall know them not from their names not from their religion you know because religion it can be a name a title and there's something underneath always somebody wearing a cross doesn't make him a christian uh, etc so from their fruit you shall know them and muhammad obviously have a satanic fruits everything about him is satanic but as you see here today we are reading quran and you will see muhammad trying to make himself as a sheep by copying some stories from the bible but adding his own spice, which is making it stupid and easy for us to expose him. So the message you hear is good. I'm glad for you that you are out of Islam. I don't know why you left Islam. Maybe you can share with us a little bit. And you know. Yeah. Um. Uh. So I. I. Uh, to be honest, is it was the story about the Zayd. Uh, I was talking to a sheikh, and uh, uh, he. I was telling him. So how can this be possible? He said because it's a. Uh, his adopted son it's not his real son so i said so what if if the baby is like uh, um like what if if you just find the baby uh, like anywhere you don't know like you just you raise him like your son and then after you get married to like this to his wife uh, is this possible he said yeah if you're a prophet well this is coming from god and i'm like what kind of god would would do something like that and then he's like uh, well, our prophet was good, so God wanted like uh, the best for him. So then I said, okay, uh, like how is that? Like explain a little bit more for me. Like how can he go and you know how when he's seen a little bit of her, and then uh, he said, uh, what do you call it? Subhanallah, qalb al qulub, right? Mm, uh, yeah, 
for Liverpool. Yeah, no. yeah, you made my heart uh, flip for you, mm. and uh, well, you flirted, it was, which it's like something flirting, you know. And yeah, and uh, after that, uh, where Zaiti said I don't like my wife anymore, so and then so on. Uh, you have, you know the story way hundred times mm. more than me, that's for sure. And then he's like, uh, he's like, uh, okay, uh, that, it, that's why there's a verse in the Quran where it says. Uh, if you if you adopt a son or anything, call them by their father's name. I don't know if that. Yeah, not as strong. Uh, like, yeah. So, and, uh, yeah. And then I said, okay, so if you find a baby that doesn't have father or mother, and you raise them, who do you call them by? Yeah. So then after that, I I came home and I started thinking about this so much, you know, just couldn't go in my head, and then uh, I actually. I, I I announced Islam and I, I said I'm not a, I'm not a Muslim anymore and then until I found Christ. I mean to that. Yeah, you see Muhammad look how evil he is. Because he wouldn't have this woman, he forbid adoption. Imagine. Yes. So yes. adoption was something noble the Arab they used to do, and especially men who cannot have children, they adopt and this is why Muhammad actually it's not him who adopt by the way, it was Khadija. Because Muhammad himself, he don't really, I don't think he uh, he is the one who cares for such a thing. But Khadija, she noticed that her husband is not going to have children. And uh, she have only daughters from previous husband. Now the Muslims, they say that at least Fatima was his daughter. I believe none of them is his daughters. Uh, so uh, uh, when they adopted this person, and then uh, Muhammad, he married this person to Zainab, which make it, making it fishy uh, because, uh, you know, obviously he liked this woman. And even the description says that Muhammad, uh, th that this is Zainab, uh, you know, she was the most beautiful woman after married a cop, maybe. She was white. He is obsessed with white women. So, uh, after you know, uh, uh, after Muhammad he married this man to this uh, woman. Muhammad he visit the man always at his home, obviously when the husband is not there. And the story you are mentioning about when he flirted with her, he the man uh, he was not there. You know the tradition yeah. of the Arab, and I'm guessing maybe you're an Arab like me uh, because you speak Arabic. You know, when I'm Kurdish. Yeah. Oh, but you are I Kurdish. Speak Arab. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, you are the one who was uh, you know the Kurdish guy. In the chat? Yes, I, no, no, no. Uh, I am the one. Yeah, but I've been. It's like I've been trying to get hold of you because uh, uh, there was only. I said if I can tell my message to to yeah. to, to anyone it would be. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, okay, you, no problem. No problem, friend. Yeah. We got you wrong. Anyway, uh, so you know, uh, uh, you notice that you know Middle Eastern. As long as you are a Kurdish, when you go to a house of somebody, you knock at the door. You don't even stay next to the door. In oh, the of course, yes. You step away from the door like five, uh, six steps, and if a female she answer, you know she don't open the door. She will speak from behind the door, and she will ask you. She might open the door like she look, you know, uh, but you don't you don't go next to the door. You don't get inside the house if the husband is not there. So and oh, she and she will not invite you. But oh, here, Muhammad, because he is a very perverted man. He was trusted to enter the house because simply he is the father, correct? Yes. Yep. So she allow him to get in because he is the father and the guy the second he get in he start flirting with her. Now this is the Muslim story of a flirting. God knows what else. You know, I don't believe in the story only flirting. You know, imagine you have a wife with my respect to your family and then uh, uh, somebody come to your house and he flirt. And what the woman she would do if the woman she is decent she will take off her shoe and she will kick him out she will throw her shoe at him and she will kick him out she will scream hey guys this guy is a flirty with me in my house get out of here this is what a good woman Absolutely. would do Absolutely. the wife yes. she did not do anything she waited until her husband came back and she told him that your father was here and he flirted with me she's not upset then the, 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 the story in the book it says for Fatina Zaid you know what Fatina mean which means yes. he, he got the attention, yep. you know, like, I got it. Okay, they are cheating on me. So right away, yep. I mean, the guy never complained about his wife. Suddenly, he went to Muhammad and he said to him, 
uh, please let me uh, let me divorce her you know and look at the hypocrite Muhammad he said to him oh, why why you want to divorce her why you know <laughs> why keep her <laughs> keep her the, the hypocrite a uh, five minute ago you were flirting with the wife now you are asking yeah. the guy why you want to divorce <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, exactly. so, yeah, this is a. This it's is, not right. Yeah, it's is, not right. This, this is why I quote for you the verse from yeah. the Bible. It says, From their fruits you shall know them. Because, you see, if Muhammad is a prophet, you see, if Muhammad was a decent man, let us say he's acting as a decent man. Muhammad never even acted as a decent man. The guy is so exposed. And we are very thankful for the Muslims who wrote his life stories, even though they are filtered. You see, if you open Ibn Ishaq, you will find that in the beginning of the book it says that anything is not suitable for the prophet life blah blah blah, blah it is taken off thrown away so you can imagine how many tens of thousands of stories are thrown away because they don't look good so what they left in the book is what's supposed to look good so if this is look good what about the bad you know yes yeah so uh, yeah, you know, it's disgusting. What about your family, my friend? What do what, uh, I, I actually convert them all to Christianity. Wonderful, myself. wonderful. That's yeah, wonderful. I, I, I spoke to them and I, I tried to bring them like the truth. I brought like I, I wrote down most of the things and then I, I compared it and I said, you know, like uh, our Lord, you know, he speaks just about peace and love. My and, friend, uh, I, there is no you cannot find anything in 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 in, in the Bible which which it would af offend anyone. I mean, like no, no, actually, in, 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 offend, offend the word offend. I don't agree with you because when you say the truth, always you offend a lot of people. You know, that you when yes, you say the truth, yeah. you will offend. No, no. So the, the, Jesus, he offend many actually, but you know the the question is, the one who is offending. Those people do they deserve when Jesus he calls someone hypocrite? Is he hypocrite or not? To, to make it simple, absolutely. If I go if I go to your kitchen and your kitchen is smell and dirty, and I say to you, you you know you are dirty. I'm not insulting you. I'm just describing what I saw, right? Yes, yes. This is not an insult. So when Jesus he said to the hypocrite, hypocrite, he is not saying the word to insult. He is describing who they are. When he said the word foolish, they are foolish. When he say the word uh, decent, they are decent. When he say, uh, uh, you know, uh, they have double standard, you know, they have that. So the Messiah, he don't say things to hurt. He's rebuking the bad ones. Muhammad, he do things just for his benefit, especially sexually and money. You will notice that all the stories of Jesus, that Jesus, he never even on, on his own, like a donkey, not a horse, you know, oh, yes. he don't have a house. Yeah. You don't have a villa. I mean, yeah. imagine if I am today, if I can make a blind man see, how many blind in the world they are willing to give me all the money they have just to make them see, you know? I mean, this is easy. Just put some mud, you know, the, uh, if I'm the Messiah, put some mud in their eyes and bingo, they, they, they can see. So he can be the most powerful. He can make kings come back to, to from death. Uh, he can he can take whatever, what they, you know, they will... They will offer everything. I mean, kings, what bring me back to the, like I won't die. Please stay next to me. So if I die, you you resurrect me again. So the Messiah never took advantage of anyone. He was not doing his miracle for a benefit of his own, and he was doing everything so they might believe, not they might, you know, just uh, okay. Uh, I, know, I want to show you my powers. It wasn't a show time, you know. He is not showing off his uh, how how powerful he is. He do things for a reason, and all the reasons are wonderful. So we cannot even compare between the the madness and the faith of Muhammad. You know, when a man he make a chapter says, a woman Allah he make a chapter saying to him, it's lawful for you this and this and this and this and this woman, and in the top of that a woman she offer herself to the Prophet. What kind of God he have such a thing? Imagine you are sitting in your home. And your family around you and then a woman she come and she knock at the door and she said take me baby <laughs> and then you say okay i am a prophet I'm, it's lawful for me to take her baby <laughs> you know so this is disgusting you know this is there's no question but you know when you live in a society and as long as you are from the middle east like me you live in a society where everybody worship this guy nobody even dare to open his mouth if you open your mouth for a second not only you are dead 
they will burn your life. So, uh, 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 centuries and centuries and centuries people they speak against Muhammad but nobody they are really to to say it you know like loud and clear but thanks to God now with the internet we can go to the heart of the Middle East and what they can do about it nothing you know yes. uh, about yep. 12 years ago I was trying to make it a satellite TV uh, why because internet is uh, more than 12 actually something like that I forgot yeah so anyway like because inter like YouTube was not broadcasting live, you know this is news. I mean a few years uh, only. Yep. So yep. Uh, uh, when I check about satellite, it says you pay twenty thousand, eighteen thousand minimum for the satellite. Uh, just this is for the timing, you know. And there is like a lot of cost every month, so you will end like you know uh, with one hundred twenty thousand uh, uh, dollars a year, and uh, God knows how much money for equipment, blah 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 blah. So all of this was really hard for a normal person like me, you know, who don't have the, such money to, to do it. And it was impossible and I failed. But then yep. YouTube opened, Facebook opened, you know, there's many. Like now there's tele Telegram, there's, there's endless, you know, I mean, there's many options you can go. So uh, uh, the Internet broke the borders and Muhammad, nobody can protect him no more. And look what the Muslims today they are doing. When we, you know, expose uh, Islam, they go and they flag our videos. And this is the only way yeah. they can fight us, you know, because they cannot refute us, they cannot debate us. So what we do? Uh, but we they're flag. getting very weak. Uh, yeah, they are, uh, for sure, this is a weakness. They're getting weakness. very, very weak. Yeah, yeah. And, but this uh, is for our benefit. Sorry to interrupt you, but yeah, they're getting very weak. And uh, your videos and most of the videos that is going on right now, like most of... Uh, like uh like uh, people that they're growing and they, they they have knowledge and they read and so so on so they 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 get this knowledge where there is wrong and there's good and bad right so and especially like your videos it's like it's inspiring for for those people that, that have no clue about islam yeah and you you actually explain it perfectly and and everything you say and you have proof and I, I advise like all the Muslims if they're listening right now is is the, is to to actually listen and uh, if they don't believe uh, yourself there there is there's books that they can go and read and there are actually translations on on on, on you know on I, the I, I have I have, a, can... I have a mission for you yeah why you don't translate my books to Kurdish I will no problem I will okay. I will start translate. from the deception of Allah you know Start from the ship, no and, and, I, and I promise you, as a gift from me to you and all the Kurdish people, is going to be for free. Well, I will thank you for that. I will, yes, I yeah, will yeah. publish it. I will if publish it in the internet for free. If I'm taking your permis permission, I will. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, and I will publish it for free, as many books we did already for free. You know, my books now is you know I don't know how many languages I cannot count, but almost not a single. I mean, there is the major languages, and soon we will have the Chinese radio too. So, and we have it in Russian. You know, actually, I was uh, somebody told me a teacher from uh, uh, from uh, you know uh, speaking uh, Russian speaking country, and they were talking about something. They mentioned something about Islam, and then a guy he said to the teacher, "Oh, you should watch a guy. His name is a Christian prince, <laughs> all the way in Russia." You know, so yeah, and uh, the funny, yeah, like it was, it was a, a funny. Uh, how the internet changed everything. So here we go. Like I don't know where are you. You know, I mean, how what far? How far the distance? But the internet make people gather from everywhere. Uh, actually, number one people who uh, watch my videos, most of them is from Indonesia. You know, I think Indonesia yes. is number one country, and that's telling you how much people are hungry for the truth. You know, so uh, yes. let us see. Let us see. Uh, let us hope that maybe in six or eight months from now, or maybe a year, you will text me back in Skype and say, "Hey, I have the file ready for a translation for the first book." Oh, so I took your so since I have your permission, I will I will do that for sure. So. Well, thank you very much, and I believe all the Kurdish people will thank you for doing such a thing. And for well, sure, well, thank you. you know, we keep yeah. we keep the information about the person, you know, totally unknown. Actually, I don't know you anyway. I was. I thought you are a Muslim calling me to, to fight with me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can never fight you, and I, I would advise 
everyone just to watch your videos because they cannot like they cannot debate you you are like one of a kind you know you 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 tell the truth for sure and i i i, I like i tell my muslim friends too like because I, I actually tell them that i converted so i'm not scared i even said it right in my country like i i sit down because you know why should i be scared you know i i believe in the lord you know I mean, if i die then i will i'll uh, what's it called? Yeah, just be careful uh, about be, your identity yeah. and, you know, just, uh, you see, we, we yeah. should be smart. Uh, uh, not, yes, it's not yeah. about being covered, no, it's about being smart, right? Yes. Yeah. Like, you yeah. don't go to Al-Qaeda and say, hey, I know I became a Christian. You don't do that. You know, there's no reason. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so yeah. we have to be smart and we have to be vigilant and, you know, and we have to be wise in what we do and what we say. Well, I'm so glad that you called me our friend. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no, that's it. Uh, and thank you for answering. And hopefully, if you could like uh, talk a little bit about how Islam like talks about Antichrist, if you could, if you had time. Yeah, sure. Maybe maybe videos, the, maybe or... the coming video, or maybe after we finish this one, you know, or maybe tomorrow we will see. I will I will remember your request. For sure. Okay. For sure. Right. Thank Th you so much thank you. for answering. Thank you. I'm sorry for being, being aggressive on you because uh, you know I'm ready for. War. Oh no no no, <laughs> no I know I know I know your life man I know how what you're going through every yeah. day. No every, everything okay. is good for me by the way I mean you see <laughs> the, uh, the, when they when they make a threat or they call me names or they make videos I laugh because all those things actually work for my benefit even when they flag me you see I notice maybe Muslims do not know. When Muslim they flag my videos, I get more support from the Christians. Very simple. It worked very good. You know, you know. I complain yeah. that Christians are not really doing the work they should do. I complain they are not making enough comment. But the second they flag me, things work differently. Second, suddenly everybody is going to work. You know. So the, yeah. even when they do that, they are supporting me and work. It worked very good. Uh, I'm, I'm a Muslim. He was trying to attack me. Uh, so he posted my book and he was asking Muslim to flag my book in Amazon and then suddenly the book the sales of my book increased so crazy and I could not understand why I mean like what happened you know <laughs> <laughs> like what happened this wow. month you know like yeah like what happened yeah. why everybody is buying the book you know <laughs> I mean what? I yeah it was a Muslim who is really he supported me without knowing so anyway so you know God is good and uh, you know the more they they, they fight you know a, a muslim defending islam is like somebody standing in a quicksand you know the quicksand right the yes so yes. this is what they do they they use their feet too much and the more they use yep. their feet the more they sink down and now we find that there is a hole in the narrative <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right my friend thank Absolutely. you very much for Absolutely. calling thank you god yeah, bless you taking... and uh, say uh, you know hello from me shalom to your family and your i don't know if you're married or not your mother your whatever who is your yeah, family I'm who became a christian yeah, I, uh, my son is 12 months <laughs> yeah well i I'm, I'm so happy for you and your family that you became a christian all of them thank you Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank Take you care. So much. Bye -bye. God bless. I, you know, I, I thought this Kurdish is going to call me to 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 get like he, he wanna debate me and I was excited for the, for what would happen. But you know, it turned to be like this guy, he just left Islam and he's excited just to share with us his experience. Wonderful, wonderful person. Mm -hmm.